learn. Today we will learn to view different objects from different sides. Let's learn. Raju and Bablu are best friends. In the classroom, their teacher Mrs. Khanna asked them to draw a picture of a bus as homework. Both of them went home. They looked out from the windows of their house and began to draw the picture of a bus parked in their lane. Next day, oh no, what is this? Raju and Bablu are fighting, but why? On enquiry, it was found that both of them have made different pictures of the same bus and both are fighting whose drawing is correct. In fact, the drawings of both Raju and Bablu are correct. Raju had drawn the top view of the bus, whereas Bablu saw the bus from the side while drawing it. All objects can be viewed from three different sides. From the above, that is top view, side view and front view. Let's understand this in detail. School is over and Raju and Bablu are returning home. Bablu is feeling hungry. Raju, I am hungry. Let's go to Babban's ice cream stall and eat ice cream. Okay, but you will pay for the ice cream. Don't worry, Babban will give us ice cream for free. Just come with me. Babban, you are the smartest in the village. I will ask you some questions and if you give me the correct answers, then I will pay for the ice cream. If you give the wrong answer, you will have to give me the ice creams for free. Okay. Bablu took an ice cream cup from Babban and asked, What is the shape of this ice cream cup? Babban looked at the cup from the front and immediately replied, Rectangle. Bablu showed him the cup from above, that is top view and said wrong answer this is a circle raju saw the cup from one side and to him it looked like a rectangle bablu ate the ice cream and raju began to think about how bablu made a fool of babban bablu and raju <laughs> laughed and started walking home while Babban kept scratching his head and thought as how Raju and Bablu managed to fool him. Children, in this part we learnt how objects can be seen in three different ways. From above, top view. From front, front view. And the side, side view. In the next video, we will learn more about this with the help of some interesting examples. In the previous video, we learned how objects can be viewed in three different ways. In this video, we will learn more about this with the help of some interesting examples. Babban is telling Gaggu as to how Raju and Bablu fooled him and did not give the money for the ice cream. Babban, don't worry. I will teach them a lesson. Gaggu told Babban. The next day, Raju and Bablu came to Gaggu's shop to buy some toys. Gaggu smiled and said, You boys are very smart. I will show you how the picture of three objects in this book. If you correctly identify the object, I will give the object to you for free. Otherwise, you will have to pay me double the price for those objects. Raju and Bablu got excited. 
because they thought they would fool Gaggu in the same way as they had fooled Babban. They immediately replied, Yes. Gaggu opened the book and showed them this picture and asked them to identify the object. Raju and Bablu started thinking. Ha 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 ha! It is very easy. It is a pencil. From the top view, a pencil looks like this. From the front view, it looks like this. And from the side view, it looks like this. Gagu then told Raju and Bablu. This is the next picture. Gagu turned the page and said, Can you help Raju and Bablu to identify the object? Think, think. Oh, oh. Raju and Bablu still couldn't identify the object in the picture. This is a cake. A cake looks like this in front view. From above, in top view, it looks like this. And in side view, it looks like this. Gaggu said. This is your last picture. Let's see if you can at least identify this object. Raju and Bablu did their best, but they could not identify the object. They were embarrassed and said, We don't know this as well. Ha 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 ha, you lost. This is a carom board. A carom board looks like this from the side. Looks like this from the front. And looks like this from the top. Hmm. Now give me my money. But we don't have any money. Hmm. Then both of you do 10 setups each right here. Raju and Bablu started doing sit-ups. Just then, Babban comes in the goose shop and laughs at them. He was hiding behind the goose shop all this time and was watching how Gagu was teaching both the kids a lesson. In this video, with the help of some interesting examples, we learn to identify objects from pictures by looking at them from different sides. In the next video, we will see some misconceptions about looking at objects from different sides. In the previous video, we learned to identify objects with pictures looking at them from different sides. In this video, we will learn some misconceptions about seeing objects from different sides. When Gaggu was teaching a lesson to Raju and Bablu, Minu was watching them from a distance. Minu decides to help Raju and Bablu. Minu goes to Raju and Bablu and whispers in Raju's ears that she is going to show Gaggu that they are very smart. Kakuji, I will ask you two puzzles. If you can give me the correct answer, then Raju and Bablu will do ten more setups. Raju and Bablu were afraid that if Gaggu gave the correct answer, then what would happen to both of them? But they had no choice. Can you tell me the name of one object which is circle from the front view, top view and also side view? This is so easy. It is a tumbler. <laughs> this is a wrong answer, Gakuchi. A glass is a circle only in top view. It is a rectangle in front view and a rectangle in the side.
क्यों है स्पेलिंग द करेक्ट आंसर इज अ बॉल अ बॉल इज अ सर्कल इन फ्रंट व्यू टॉप व्यू एज वेल एज साइड व्यू माय सेकंड रिडल व्हिच ऑब्जेक्ट इज अ स्क्वायर फ्रॉम टॉप व्यू फ्रंट व्यू एंड साइड व्यू My good friend Apu's confectioner sweet box. Mm. This is the wrong answer. Sweet box is a square in top view, but in front view it is a rectangle, and even in side view it is a rectangle. The correct answer is a box of chocolates. The box of chocolates. is a square in top view front view and side view there are some objects whose shape from all directions top view front view as well as from side view appear to be the same raju and bablu started swaying happily and then the three of them went to play together in the park so children In this video we learned that there are a few objects which look the same from all the three directions top view front view and side view Hello children. Today we will learn about dot grids and learn how to create shapes using dot grids. In the last lesson, we saw how the smart menu saved Raju and Bablu from Gaggu the hippo and Babban the monkey. Raju and Bablu have gone to Bola the donkey and tell him that Minu told them that no one can make a better shape than her they wanted to have a competition between minu and bhola they will make the same shape in the competition minu first shows her shape to the competition judge batak uncle what shape are you trying to make minu i'm not able to understand anything बड़बोला बतक अंकल आस्क्स मीनू ओ दिस इज अ काइट अंकल डक कांट यू आइडेंटिफाई इट देन भोला गिव्स हिज शेप टू बतक अंकल एज सून एज मीनू सीज द शेप सी इज शॉक्ड वेरी गुड बोरा यू हैव मेड अ वेरी गुड शेप ऑफ द काइट सेड द बड़बोला बतक अंकल But how did you manage to make such a perfect shape? The secret of my good shape is a dot grid, Bhola said. Dot grid? What is that? Dot grid. I will explain. Suppose in your maths book where every line meets, you make a point. It will become a dot grid. If you do not have a dot grid you can make it by using everyday items just place the points next to each other and on equal distance under each other to make it you can use a ruler a rubber a matchbox or any other small thing bhula said to meenu with some practice I can make this dot grid almost myself. Can you please show me how to use this dot grid? Minu asks. Suppose I have to make a square. Then I'll join these dots that is points, then these two points, and then finally I will close the square in this way. Did you see? Bola explains. So now 
I can make perfect shapes. Wait till you. First I want to see that you really understand. Here are some unfinished squares and rectangles. If you can complete them, then I will teach you to make other shapes. Bhola told Meenu. Come children, you can help Meenu by completing these shapes in your notebook. Very nice. Now you can try to make flowers, boats and stars. Bhola told Meenu. Children, you can also practice making this with us. First make flowers. Now make a boat. And now make stars. Oh, this dot grid is actually very good. I really did not know that we can do this so easily. Now do you agree that you are not the smartest? I am intelligent. Some people will never improve. Today we learned what the dot grid is and how to create a shape using dot grid. In the next video we will learn to create patterns using dot grids. In this video, we saw that what is dot grid and how to create a shape using dot grid. In this video, we will learn more about this using some interesting examples. Minu is very sad because she could not prove that she is smartest. She went to sleep feeling very sad. In her dreams, she sees a dot grid flying. She feels as if she herself is flying in the sky over her village. Minu is very happy that she can fly. She flies into Chanda Squirrel's house. Chanda is watching TV. But what is this? Chanda cannot see her. Minu is very happy to know that she cannot be seen. She made this type of pattern on Chanda's TV. After yesterday's defeat, she starts thinking about how to make this pattern using the dot grid. What is this? She can suddenly see a dot grid behind the pattern on the TV. Minu starts jumping happily. Let's see how we can make this pattern using the dot grid. First we will join these two dots and create a vertical line like this. Now we will draw a horizontal line from this dot. Then we will join these two dots to make a slanting line. Then we will repeat the same method for another triangle. And that's how we make our pattern using the dot grid. After this, Meenu wanted to see what Golu Panda is doing. She flies off to his house and sees that he is struggling to wear trousers. There is such a pattern on his trousers. Meenu laughs upon seeing Golu. It is good that he cannot see her. Minu thinks how can she make this pattern using the dot grid. Suddenly, Minu sees a dot grid on his trousers. Minu is shocked. With the help of a dot grid, this pattern can be easily made. Minu thinks to herself. Come children, 
Let's take a look at how Minu makes this pattern using the dot grid. First we will create a square like this. Now we will create another square below using this corner of the first square like this. Now we can complete this pattern like this. Isn't this fun? Can you complete this beautiful pattern with the help of a dot grid? Minu was always afraid to go to Sher Khan's house. But now she thinks that Sher Khan will not be able to see her. And so she decides to go to Sher Khan's house. She goes to Sher Khan's house and sees this pattern on the door of his closet. She thinks how she can complete the second part of this pattern using the dot grid. Yes, in this way we can complete the second part of this pattern. Now kids, this is an exciting question for you. Can you complete the second part of this pattern? Well done. You have completed it. Suddenly Sher Khan comes from behind and shouts Boo! Minu suddenly awakens and sits up in her bed, getting scared. Minu is relieved and she says Thank God that this was just a dream. In this video we saw how different patterns can be made using a dot grid. In this video, we will learn what is the meaning of symmetry. Come, let's see what Sher Khan is doing. But what is this? He has just drawn half portion of the sun and there is no more space left in the paper. What do I do now? Sher Khan said sadly. Just then, he looked into the mirror lying just next to him. Magic! Magic! Sher Khan was excited. This mirror is magical. It has completed my drawing, Sher Khan thought. The very next day, he called some of his friends to see the magical mirror at his home with half-done images. Which image have you bought, Golu Panda? Sher Khan asked this to Golu Panda. I have drawn a half portion of a toffee. I felt that your mirror is magical. So when it completes my image, then I will eat it. Golu Panda said drooling. My magical mirror will definitely complete your image. But you will not be able to eat the toffee. Understood Fatso? Sher Khan said to Golu. Abracadabra. Now see how this image becomes complete in my magical mirror. Sher Khan said this and placed Golu's painting in front of the mirror. Wow! All the friends were shocked to see how the second part of the image is visible in the mirror. Come Apu, I will show magic with your painting. Sher Khan repeated the magical words and second part of Appu's painting is also visible in the mirror. Appu and Golu started clapping excitedly, but Bola Donkey was quiet. Come Bola, now it's the turn of your cup painting, said Sher Khan to Bola and tried to take his painting, but Bola refused. 
this is enough magic for one day my friend we will see magic with this painting later on bola said to sher khan appu and golu went home sher khan asked bola why he did not allow him to show the magic with his painting because your magic will fail you can't try it right now bola said to sher khan and handed over the painting of his half cup to him sher khan placed bola's painting in front of the mirror but what is this the second half of the cup in the mirror doesn't seem to appear sher khan was surprised and asked bola how did you come to know that my magic is going to fail that is because my painting was not a symmetrical object bola said to sher khan bola started scratching his head and asked what is a symmetry symmetry happens when two parts of any object are the same this is the reason when you see one half of an object in the mirror then you can see the other half looking exactly the same and you feel that the picture is complete there is no magic in your mirror magic actually is in symmetry yes but what about the secret of my magic mirror sher khan said sadly don't worry your secret is safe with me then bhola winked at sher khan and they both began to laugh so children in this lesson we learnt what is meant by symmetry in the next video we will learn more about this with some examples symmetry in the previous video we learned what is symmetry do you remember sher khan's magical mirror can you identify which of these incomplete images will become a complete image in the mirror good you got it right these are the images that will be complete in the mirror because they are made of two similar parts and these images will not be complete in the mirror because they are not made of two similar parts in this video we will learn to divide an image into two similar parts with the help of dotted lines sher khan became very popular because of his magical mirror but one day he noticed that there's a huge crowd around meenu in the classroom look i will draw a dotted line on the image and it will divide the image into similar parts Minu is telling children with the image of a star in her hand. She draws a line like this on the image. Wow! This magic is better than Sher Khan's magical mirror. The children shout with excitement. Sher Khan draws a C on a paper and shouts, "If your magic is better than my magic, then can you divide the C in two similar parts with the help of a dotted line meenu smiled and drew a dotted line like this on sher khan's c sher khan is shocked he takes bhola to one corner of the classroom and tells him bhola you are very clever can you teach meenu a lesson by proving that her magic is a failure Okay I'll help you Bola said to Sher Khan Bola draws a socks on the paper and tells Meenu Can you divide this image into two similar parts by using a dotted line Meenu thinks a lot and says No I can't Sher Khan starts laughing looking at her and other children feel surprised that her magic is failed then bhola explains there is no magic 
There are some alphabets and objects that are made of two similar parts. Therefore, they can be divided into two similar parts by using a dotted line. However, there are some objects and letters that are not made of two similar parts. Therefore, they cannot be divided into two similar parts by using a dotted line. Children, can you guess which among these images can be divided into two similar parts by a dotted line? Wow! You are smart. These are images that are being divided into two similar parts by the dotted lines. And these are not getting divided into two similar parts. Appu gets excited. Bola, I have made a mask of my face on this sheet. And I have also drawn this line. Can you tell me how will I come to know if this line is dividing my mask into two similar parts or not? This is very easy. If you want to know whether a dotted line can divide an image into two similar parts or not, then just fold the image along with the dotted line. If both parts coincide, then the line is dividing the image into two similar parts. This is the reason your line is not dividing your mask into two similar parts. Bhola said to Appu, All the children are impressed by Bhola's intelligence and promise not to call him a donkey ever again. Come children, today I will teach you one more interesting fact. Can you tell me what are the difference between these two images of Babban? Yes, this is correct. Whatever you are seeing in the left image is completely opposite to the image on the right. For instance, his left hand is on his waist in the left image, but in the right image, his right hand is on the waist. In fact, if you see the image of the left hand in front of the mirror, then you can see the image on the right hand in the mirror. Such images that are similar but completely opposite of each other are called mirror images. Here are some examples of mirror images. Now try to see different objects in the mirror and enjoy learning more about them. In this video, we learned about mirror images and dividing images into two equal parts with the help of dotted lines.